if you've ever experienced something like this where the clip is sizable and it is so processor intensive which is causing the playback to be choppy and it's very difficult to edit that you can use some help from proxy media and optimized media now what the heck are they well they are essentially davinci resolve's way of creating another version of the original clips that you have that are in a different format and resolution which are more conducive to smoother playback and also faster editing so in today's video we are going to look at how to go about using them and also some of the nuances that you should be aware of all right first things first i have two high resolution videos here that i've made no changes to uh, and i'll be using them for uh, this uh, video so now to create a proxy and also optimized media we have to make sure we configure the settings first so let's open up the project setting here and we're going to scroll to the optimized media and render cache sections. This is where you can make changes to the resolution and format. So we're going to start with proxy media. If we were to go to proxy media resolution here, you will see a list of options that you have. For the sake of this video, I'm going to go with a quarter. Uh, and then uh, you also have a lot of options for proxy media format. Uh, feel free to choose what works best for you. Same with optimized media resolution. Again, for the sake of this video, I'm I'm going to stick with a uh, quarter and then uh, you also have a lot of options for optimized media format these options are slightly different than the options that you have for proxy media format now let's scroll to the working folder section so this is where we can choose where these uh, files will be physically located so for proxy media, you can go to proxy generation location, which already you can see is assigned a location to you by default. But you can change that by clicking browse. Uh, you can choose another location uh, if you want to. Uh, same with uh, optimized media, but for optimized media, you want to go to cache file location. That is where uh, the optimized media will be located. And again, uh, there is a location already assigned uh, by default, but you can easily change that by clicking on browse okay so now let's save these settings and we're gonna get to create these uh, files so first of all for optimized media you can either right click the clip in the timeline and then in the menu select generate optimized media or you can go to the source clip in the time in the media pool and then right click the clip and then select generate optimized media so let's do that and then you will see that the system is going to go ahead and create uh, this file uh, for proxy media unfortunately you cannot go to the clip in the timeline and right click do that because we don't have that option so what you have to do is to go to the source clip in the media pool right click and then in the menu select generate proxy media so let's do that and again you will see that the system will go ahead and create this file and once it's done you will see that when we try to play these clips back the system is going to automatically use uh, optimized media and proxy media because uh, it, it detects that they are present and you will see that it's playing back at a much lower resolution just like how we configured the settings uh, earlier well you might be asking yourself at this point how does the system automatically go pick up these files so for optimized media if you go to the playback menu here you will see that use optimized media if available is checked if this is unchecked however that's when the system is going to ignore optimized media even if they are available so you will see that when I do this, the clip will revert to its original setting. Um, so you definitely want to make sure that this option is checked, uh, especially if you want to use optimized media. Now, in terms of proxy media, uh, first of all, you will notice a small purple icon embedded in the source clip and also the clip in the timeline. That's the system telling you that the proxy media is not available and it's being used. Or you can go to the preview screen uh, and uh, if you go to the top right corner there, you will see that a small PXY uh, menu. So you will see that in this uh, menu, prefer proxies is enabled. Uh, if you click disable all proxies, that's basically telling the system to ignore proxies. Uh, again, even if you have them available. Another way to disable proxy media is to actually go to the source clip and then right click uh, the source clip and then in the menu select uh, unlink uh, proxy uh, media. Uh, that's another way kind of to tell the system to ignore proxy even if it's available. 
All right, so now I want to get into some of the nitty gritties and nuances that you guys should be aware of. So to get started, we're going to open up the folder where you can find, uh, you know, these uh, files. So we'll start with Cache Clip, which is uh, where you can find optimized media. Now, when we click into uh, optimized media folder and then, and then some of the subfolders, you will eventually get to uh, optimized media file here, which you can see are just a bunch of DVCC internal cache files that only DaVinci Resolve can understand. So you can't really use them for any other for any other for, for anything else. And now this is a stark contrast compared to proxy. So if we were to go back to, let's say, proxy media folder and then uh, uh, click through some of the subfolders to get to the eventual proxy media file, you will see that it is an actual physical media file that you can open up, that you can play on your local machine. Uh, and not only that, this uh, is a file because it's an actual physical file. You can share with someone else. You can move it to another another machine, uh, use it for another project very easily. Uh, so this is perhaps I would say one of the biggest differences between the two. Now this also is a reason that when you right click uh, the source clip. You see the options for unlink and also relink proxy media because it is an actual physical copy on your local machine. Another thing I want to draw your attention to at this point is the file size. So you will see that it's 85.7 megabyte for the proxy uh, media here. If we look at the file size of the original clip, though, it's only around 23.9 megabyte. So it is a bit of an increase there. Uh, now, if we were to uh, look at the optimized media, you will see that it's uh, actually much bigger. It's 115.3 megabyte. Now, if we look at the original file size, again, it's the same as the other clip. It's only 23.9 megabytes. So in both cases, there is a file increase, although uh, optimized media a little bit more so than a proxy. So this might be a good time for you to uh, consider where you want to store these files so you can put them on external drive if that works for you if that works better for you or make sure you delete these files once you are done with them now speaking of deleting it is very easy to uh, delete both file types you can either delete the entire folder or locate the specific clip uh, but when we do that you will see that uh, if we go back to the timeline uh, this clip will just automatically revert to its original uh, setting because the system sees that the optimized media is no longer available. Uh, same with proxy media, just make sure that you find the either the folder, delete that entire folder, or you can locate that specific clip uh, and then delete it. And then once again, the system will see uh, the clip will revert uh, to its original setting. Um, so it's a good way to kind of do a reset uh, if uh, this is something that you think works better for you. Another thing worth noting is that when you do decide to render these clips through the deliver page, you have the ability to render using either optimized media or proxy or both, uh, because by default, the system will render these clips at their original setting. So which is kind of good because you will know that uh, these low resolution, low format files uh, won't get delivered uh, by default, uh, but you do have the ability to do so. All right, last but not the least, you guys should definitely know that optimized media can be easily shared across multiple projects within the project library, but proxy media cannot, unfortunately. So to demonstrate that, I am going to start a brand new project here very quickly, and then uh, I'm going to bring these two clips uh, back into the media pool. And then when we bring in the first clip, you will see that the system will automatically detect the presence of optimized media and it will use that right away. So very easy, very easy to do, no problem. Uh, now, when we bring the second clip, on the other hand, into the timeline, you will see that it will start to play at its original setting because the system cannot automatically detect the presence of proxy media. So to work around that, what we have to do is to go to the source, uh, source clip, the right click, and then in the menu, select the relink proxy media. And then in the menu, make sure that we point it to the right clip. So now you will see that the system will start using proxy media. All right, guys. So this is pretty much it. I hope you learned a lot through this video. And as always, I will see you next time.